Hello. Guys, I have two. I want to show you up close and personal with my Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls. I'm sorry about that noise. My friend on her musically. She's helping me. And so I'm going to do up close and personal with the Raggedy Ann and Andy doll. So as you look up, it was close in his face. Okay, a little bit of button eyes. Um, it's stitched white around his eyes. A stitched nose. Um, there's like a little, like, little bits of string that are hanging from his mouth. I don't know if you can see that. His face is almost all stitched. And it looked like they weaved it a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is not a stain. This is actually blush that they did for him. His hair is yarn. On the back of his head, there's a this little hat that's stitched onto him. You know, his hair is sort of curled together. This outfit is kind of really old. It kind of smells like mold. There's little dots on him, like stain marks. A black bow. Big buttons. And a golden button. And I'll show you that. On the back, you can't take off his clothes because it's sewed down. And then, <clears throat> hey. And then on his bottom pant leg, it says Raggedy Raggedy Andy. Yeah, right. And like the feet has like hair all over it because I haven't dusted these yet. And then the legs. You know, just like candy cane stripes. Goes all the way up to here, like those are really long legs. And then inside the shirt. Oh Jesus, gotta get this on. These were made in the 1970s. Again, someone owned this, these before me. And if you like pull down his shirt a little bit, there's a thing that says I love you. Another raggedy hand off. Like every single one, I don't know. Probably something fun. I'm going to set him over here. He sometimes, he gave me nightmares. Um, she was the first one I had. Um, the Raggedy Andy, he gave me nightmares. Um, I also, he moves. Um, I set him down on the baker's rack. And... I set him down on the baker's rack, you know and I thought, I thought, yeah, you can do it, but just turn it down. Um, I saw him on, okay, I put him on the baker's rack. I'm too scared of him. I, um, was on my laptop, okay? I, this, the, the, the chair that I have, um, you can kind of see through the back of it. Um, so, I felt like a gush of wind go past my feet. And I look, and I thought I saw, like, a black shadow go by. And, um, my mom told me that, um, having it. Oh, uh, my mom told me that, um, that they, that someone owned these before me. No, because they're making them 19. And they, they just gave me nightmares, and I didn't really want to. But this was my first one. And the, her hair is like really poofy and has like yarn. Her face is stitched. She's really like small, like probably a foot long. Her clothes can come off. Her apron has a little thing that you can like unbuckle, but I'm not going to do that. And here you can like take that off. There's a little button that you can take off her. And um, this is what they used to wear, but um, her legs, peppermint thing. I call them peppermint because they look like candy canes. And here's a small one. I love you. She hasn't done like nothing. I'm not really sure, but it's a different material. And on her arm, it's stained and it's dirty, you know, because these are an antique. I don't know how much these was, but I meant to ask my mom how much these were. My new hair looks like fire. Um, yeah. Not gonna take off her clothes because 
I just don't want to. And I feel like I have a really big connection with her. Oh man, there's black dots all on the side of her face right there. Oh, yeah. Huh? This one just said about the sun. It said, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. God. Jeez. I think I have a huge connection with the soul or the doll. Because some spirits that are inside things can make a really big connection with you. Because one time when I got her, I was, I was obsessed with Raggedy Ann. I just loved them really much. But then I just started getting nightmares from it for no reason. I don't know. I don't know. And so, um, I'm not scared of them now. Because I've been seeing the night um, Autumn's, like, two, two, for two, two days straight. I've been there. Because I've been so afraid coming back home. Yeah, and there's my widow. I, I think I've been scared of them because... Hi. <laughs> there was a video of... You guys can go watch it. Please support him. He has a baby daughter now, I think. Yeah. Um, It's called My Haunted Dolls Face Change Part 4. And in the middle of the video, when he's showing the doll that faces that his, that the dolls when the doll's face changes, um, you could see the the aunt his Annabelle real animal doll, the one that they thought the one that they think that the child possessed it, and it was actually Raggedy Ann doll, and it was just like sitting on the shelf, and its foot was like this, and then it was. It kicked up and then it like fell on the floor. Um, that's the video, and he has four parts of it, like now. Um, yeah, he's the one that showed that the "I love you" on their stomach. And whenever I saw it, I was like, "What? I have two haunted raggedy dolls. I can totally, you know, show my dad." Oh, my first time ever seeing Raggedy Ann doll was in my cousin. The big Raggedy Ann that I have, it was like a smaller version. I did not know she had it. She, I think I think she has Ann, I don't know. But when I saw it, my reaction, Jesus, man, it was bad. I picked up, I seriously threw it across the room. It was terrible. But then I just started bonding with it. I was like scared. They looked like okay. My I thought they looked like a clown. I don't know. I'm gonna see a video of someone cutting open the raggedy and all. I'm not gonna cut mine because they're antique. I don't know how much they were. They're in 1970s. They might be worth more when I grow up, and I will keep them because I have no idea. I don't know why I want them. If you guys have like like a theory for me, because I do. I do, I did want to get rid of them, um, a couple months ago. I was terrified of it. I thought I saw them move. He was, like, my nightmare, like, my nightmare was, I gave the big raggedy Andy to my friend, and then she gave it back to, well, she had it, and then it, like, randomly would kept moving and leaving, and that's just my big nightmare. And I was just really, oh, my. But now I'm because my brother and my sister's here. You're like a sister to me. And so, yeah. So that was my up close and personal with my raggedy handle. So, if you guys want to see more videos of them, just tell me. You can go to my Snapchat, Maya Moke. Put her down! Jesus! Bye, bye guys! Don't touch them. There's a spirit in them. Jesus. Yeah, I never let my brother touch them, like, ever. I was so, supposed to go meet him. Who? Yeah. Okay. Oh. okay, guys, well, bye. My mom never let me. Because he's black.